Subsequently, the NDC Minority Caucus in Parliament staged a walkout when the Japa deal was presented to Parliament for approval. Sadly, but unsurprisingly, the corrupt ruling New Patriotic Party used their numbers in Parliament to approve the sleazy Ejapa deal in spite of the huge public outcry over the lack of value for money surrounding the deal. The flag bearer of the NDC and Insha Allah, the incoming president of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, vowed at the time to cancel the fraudulent Ejapa royalties deal if he won the 2020 general elections. A position that has not changed. Several civil society organizations, including Imani, ISODEC, PIAC, the Ghana Integrity Initiative, IDEC, ISEPA, ASEP, among others, kicked against this ripoff called EJAPA, based on sound arguments and alternative proposals, all of which were ignored by the corrupt and nepotistic Ekufuado Baumia government who were hell-bent on stealing our mineral royalties. Subsequently, the Office of the Special Prosecutor established in its corruption risk assessment report that the Japa deal was fraught with procurement rigging, statutory breaches, potential money laundering, and inimical to the national interest. Eventually, the chilling details of this report, coupled with sustained pressure from the National Democratic Congress and Civil Society, compelled the president to shamefully beat a retreat and refer the deal, which he had already given executive approval for, back to parliament for reconsideration, pending the 2020 general elections. My brothers and sisters, throughout our struggle against this Ejapa heist, we never knew and never imagined that the ruling MPP had spent a staggering $12 million equivalent to 153 million Ghana cities on this deal. With each passing day, and as the clock ticks to the 7 December 2024 elections, for Ghanaians to kick this irredeemably corrupt government out of office, the countless skeletons in their closet of corruption keep unfolding before our very eyes. These are in these sad times for the people of Ghana. We in the NDC are completely appalled by the decision of this corrupt government to spend this colossal amount of money on the Japa scam, which never saw the light of day. It is unconscionable and in fact the height of cruelty that the government of President Ekufuado and Alaji Baumia engage in this naked TV and brazen abuse of the public purse at a time, at a time, ladies and gentlemen, that our country was battling the dreaded COVID-19 pandemic and Ghanaians were already reeling under excruciating hardships. Friends from the media, not even COVID could stop our friends in the MPP from stealing from the people of this country and the suffering masses under the guise of this thing in a Japa deal. As you may recall, the OSP established beyond every reasonable doubt that the Japa deal violated the public procurement law, the Public Financial Management Act, and the 1992 Constitution of Ghana, and therefore, the entire transaction was now void and of no effect. The most startling revelation of the OSP in its corruption risk assessment report on the Ojapa scam was the fact that some illegal payments were made to certain entities under the deal. These entities included Data Bank, a company which was founded and is still owned by Ken Ufuriata, cousin of President Kufuado, the immediate past finance minister, who has been promoted to the position of senior presidential advisor on the economy and special envoy 
on international investments and the capital markets. The OSP also found similar illegal payments were made to African legal associates, a law firm belonging to Gadi Ochredakun, cousin of President Ekufuadu, who today says he has resigned from Ghana's politics. Ladies and gentlemen, all these payments were found by the OSP to be unlawful, hence null and void. Yet till date, these payments which did not benefit the country in any way or provide any value to the country have not been retrieved by the state. These are in these sad times for the people of Ghana. My brothers and sisters, we all know what good this gargantuan amount of money we are talking about, which is equivalent, like I said, to 153 million cities and 1.5 trillion old Ghana cities could have achieved in Ghana's bankrupt economy if it had been put to judicious use. This money could have sufficed to pay the cost of several months of treatment for all kidney patients in Ghana, 19 of whom died painfully following the shameful closure of the Kolebu Renal Unit over government's 4 million Ghana cities indebtedness. We could not get 4 million Ghana cities to clear the debt at the Renal Unit at Kolebu, for which reason that whole unit was shut down for months, leading to the avoidable deaths of 19 kidney patients. Why? because we didn't have four million Ghana cities. Yet we have wasted 153 million cities on a deal that never materialized, a deal that was aborted owing to our vigilance. Ladies and gentlemen, again, the colossal amount of money we are talking about could have been used to provide childhood vaccines to protect innocent babies from dying from childhood disease due to the shortage of essential vaccines. You were all in this country not too long ago where we recorded shortages of childhood vaccines and children died in this country because government said they didn't have money. They had to take our neighbors Nigeria to loan us vaccines before we could save and protect our own children. Yet, this government can waste and misappropriate 153 million Ghana cities of taxpayers' money. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the amount of money we are talking about, if you don't know, could have procured textbooks for basic school children who have gone five years, five years, without curricular-based textbooks after the introduction of a new curriculum. Again, this $12 million we are talking about, this money that we have lost to sheer greed, selfishness, and corruption, could have paid allowances of national service personnel in Ghana who have not been paid for four months and counting as we speak today. Additionally, this huge amount of money we are talking about could have been used to create thousands of jobs for NAPCO beneficiaries who have been sent home after they were promised permanent employment. This amount of money again could have been used to provide portable drinking water or to construct several cheap compounds or schools for children who are sitting under trees, cheap compounds for people who cannot access healthcare in many deprived communities in Ghana, portable water for many Ghanaians who drink cyanide polluted water, water that animals drink from. We could have used this amount of money for these meaningful investments for the benefit of the country. Sadly, but very characteristic of the corrupt and nepotistic Ekufuado Barubia government, they have distributed all this money among themselves under the guise of expenditure on an aborted, stillborn Ejapa scam. We are totally disgusted, and I believe you are too, by this wanton dissipation of public funds on a needless and useless venture 
by a government that rode on the back of an anti-corruption campaign into office with a promise to protect the public purse. My brothers and sisters, where did we go wrong? What crime have we committed to deserve this kind of treatment from our own leaders? Why are we being subjected to a constant abuse of our meager state resources by the ruling NDP government? At the time, the money cannot even afford one square meal a day. At the time, our nation is faced with economic bankruptcy marked by debt default, an all-time high unemployment rate, high interest rates, the highest in Africa, high inflation rates, and unprecedented socio-economic hardships. What crime have we committed to President Ekufuado and his corrupt protege, Alaji Bawumia? The pension of this government to hide behind crafty schemes such as the Japa deal to steal from the people of Ghana is just too much. It is not, if it is not about mortgaging future mineral royalties for a, a phony offshore entity called a Japa, then it is about dubious payment of $2 million for a phantom sky train project which never saw the light of day. From the PDS TV orchestrated by Alaji Baumia to the unconscionable and merry innovation deal, all the way to the stinky SML scandal, this government has been relentless in their greedy pursuit to fleece the state coffers. Ghanaians have had enough of this Ekufuado Baumia administration, which has earned the dubious distinction and reputation as the most corrupt government in the history of Ghana. Today, Ghanaians are suffering because the meager resources of the country, which are supposed to be put to judicious use for the benefit of all Ghanaians, have been hijacked, hijacked by a select few. This is why today, students are suffering. Teachers are suffering. Nurses are suffering. Doctors are suffering. Market women are suffering. Drivers are suffering. Mates are suffering. Okada riders are suffering. Engineers are suffering. Pastors are suffering. Church members are suffering. Journalists are suffering. Spare pass dealers Women, men, boys, boys, girls, girls, children, and all of us are suffering. We are suffering because of the unprecedented corruption we are witnessing under the Kufuado Bawumia government. It is as simple as that. The Japan scam, ladies and gentlemen clearly amounts to woefully causing financial loss to the state. And the corporates must not go unpunished. I want to repeat this for emphasis. Fellow countrymen and women, the Japan scam clearly amounts to woefully causing financial loss to the state. And the corporates of sin must not go unpunished. We in the NDC and all well-being Ghanaians repose Huge trust and confidence in the nation builder, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, to pursue and retrieve for the state public funds that have been lost to looting schemes such as this stinking Ejapa scandal, the PBS scandal, the Bosgay scandal, and other acts of naked thievery by officials of the Kufuado Bawumia government and their party apparatchiks. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama has demonstrated, both in government and out of government, that he detests corruption and will never condone corruption, nor shield the perpetrators of corrupt acts. He has stated clearly that the days of the corruption clearing agents 
will officially come to an end come 7th January 2025. When by the grace of God, the people of Ghana, he assumes office as president. He has said and demonstrated before that the sword of the fight against corruption will cut both ways under his government, no matter whose ox is God, whether you belong to his government or not. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, same cannot be said about our main opponents in the upcoming 2024 general elections. I am talking about Alaji Mahamadou Baumia, the failed vice president and chair of the economic management team, the clueless driver's mate, and the discredited flag bearer of the new patriotic party, who has proven to be not only dishonest, but very corrupt. This is a man who orchestrated a stinky PBS scandal by deliberately and illegally relaxing the condition precedent of a bank guarantee, thereby aiding PBS to defraud Ghanaians to the tune of 1.5 billion Ghana cities in electricity tariffs alone. According to the Institute of Economic Affairs, IEA, Ghana lost a whopping $2 billion from this scandal which was okay treated by Baumia alone. Again, this is the man who was named in the NAS number 12 investigations and fingered in the Galamse Economy documentary by Kwesi Techi and Charles Adubuani respectively as a collector, arranger, fixer, and receiver of appearance fees also known as bribes. This is a man who attempted to steal 10 containers of rice belonging to a Ghanaian businessman for Ramadan donations through his director of administration, Juan Kekose. As we speak, the said director of administration is being prosecuted by the Office of Special Prosecutor, yet he still works with the Office of the Vice President. There's a man who continues to lie through his teeth to Ghanaians without any restraint or shame. And I can go on and on and on. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, the fact is simple. The appearance fee merchant Barumia cannot be trusted to fight corruption because he is himself corrupt. The only way Ghanaians can get to the bottom of the litany of corruption acts and scandals involving officials of this government, including Baumia himself, is for the good people of Ghana to resoundingly boot the MPP out of office on 7 December 2024. In so doing, our surest bets, our surest bets of exacting genuine accountability will be to vote overwhelmingly for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and the NDC to enable us pursue true accountability which has been missing in our national affairs in the last seven to eight years. My brothers and sisters, I stand here with the full blessing of the next president of the Republic of Ghana, Isha Allah, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, to inform you, and by extension the good people of Ghana, that the next NDC government will investigate the stinky $12 million a Japa scandal, retrieve all illegal payments made under same, and ensure that all the perpetrators are prosecuted. The day of accountability and reckoning is fast approaching, and no one found culpable will be left off the hook by the next NDC Mahama government. This is a solemn pledge and our charge to keep when by the grace of God and the good people of Ghana, the NDC assumes the reins of government in 2025. We call on the Ghanaian electorates not to allow President Kufuado and his corrupt cabal of family and friends install as president their puppet, Alaji Baumia, whose sole mission is to cover up the many ills of this remarkably corrupt administration and insulate wrongdoers, including himself, from prosecution and punishment. We are absolutely confident in the Ghanaian people to rise to the occasion 
and reject corruption, reject nepotism, reject impunity, reject arrogance of power, reject economic mismanagement, come 7 December 2024. Enough of the corruption, enough of the TV, enough of the abuse of the public purse, which continues to impose untold hardships and suffering on the entire nation. Enough is enough. Thank you for your attention and thanks for coming, ladies and gentlemen. So, ladies and gentlemen, as the custom is, um, I did this English presentation, I believe, in about 30 minutes, but I'll try and use 10 15 minutes to summarize the presentation in the three dialects for the benefit of the account stations who are streaming this press conference live. When we are done and you still have questions, we will give you the opportunity to answer that. Thank you for your understanding. I was going to say that and the Ephraim one, na assembly of one is na what you achieve me, when I see the drum, public accounts committee, a mona auditor general, ye, if you should move Ephra, or my Ghana, you see Cassem Ephra, or de Necrata, Ekujawon, or and in Penufua, a war mineral income investment fund, MIF, for a dean about the 2022 Auditor General Report, about the top parliament for any. Now, Emra, I have total opinion power, or did that, or that's a Jumayukuyan, I have total no, no, no. I have a war public accounts committee, you should be saying, I say, Ura. Eye a Japa deal na Abain Shesh or de Baba Ye Juma Amazon and ye be a sika sen and or mino a sen woman. Ura ni be na noa or si can kwa mas sen wo se japa di no no. Eye kwasi boni America sikano twelve million dollars. What they buy in a gun is a or pepe or her bonus 153 million cities. Now the court it is a kidney more a or pepe pepe or her bonus and sunny actually. She says, She can't quite a buy in a say a japa deal now across my coming day. Do now I'm not so a gun of four years and some fast will be on a can't call my bono honor. Sansem we a yabra was some kesia. A ya samoa eh ye and this if what the aboy pusa. A sans a semi sati ye de any de chri. E jinama or mino coma or mino, ye and civil society organizations be bri. Ya magana for any abind si as ye say. Sad deal ne nye ja pet deal a ye jaboni deal. E sanse ni paka kebi a waba any mu and a fakun tru as seni fakadam kwanso se. Omaino, ya gudi ya wanyame edi achaye ini. Ya formu wa gudi ya ti save gold. Ya bauxite. Ya manganese. Ha, abaye mbi ya ba. No wa ba 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 jeje unu sika kakra. No di ayo omaini ye no. Sa, MPP fwoi. Afa frakadam kwa aswa mpese. Omu jeje sika ni nina kari forward. No omu di sika ni ne. No omu ni omu busu ya fofa. Na inchiri mabeba no. Na ye gold ni esha formu ni yatongu. Your box site no ya ton manganese no ya ton sika no so a ye di e japa no na se chire nyina no no enti ye ka se ye enti ase da ye ye ho press conferences empo asemi ko to mra she be dwom ye mra she be dwa fo e wo ho sa mre no ye wa ro na dusu na na da wona no omo bobu ye e to abeti aye ba se da mu nyina mu nim ya no no omo si nkete se omo be bo man no kro no a Omo de wu wu ni omo wu oya di enkra omo be ye enti omo do so che ye enti ni de approve the deal na omo be kaya ye gusu ye de da ma special prosecutor no o sa amre no ma ti na mi do oya na di so be ye ase ni mo o do nse ni mo asuko no o de beto abonte nse the NDC ni 
civil society organizations e eka no e no kwetu do na se wo hwe ejapa ni mu yi a procurement emra yetieti aso ye emra e fa ye constitution ye sika se mu nyina yetieti aso enti de omo ye ni ye dream katasehye ne proye in fact se gana fo be kai a e ye se ejapa deal we enti na martin ambi do resign ye e ye ejapa deal we no kopa ho ntoma akufu adu ma ne pressure oni ba wo mi a o se adwuma ne kra wo nye bim wogai because of open akuno ma ne be ka kire en se akufu adu ye wo wo ma me wo wo primary ma me mother serpent of corruption e ye sa se mu ya enti ma tire mi bi de ne report ba ye no o ma penye akufu adu je ne ho enye because wo wuze mra no edi no ana o se we die akura se maka me nwe ye enti eh ma twi asensa yen ko to 2020 abamra na ban ebe hu de obeye afa ho e de yen yen di ka bi se ni yen tehwe ya nwe ho da se ade an ko mo peso mo ya ya mo mo wo kwa mo mo anye no o mbe ba ba be ka kire ekwensi ma se o ma bo ho ka 153 million cedis equivalent to 1.5 trillion ni yen ni da open say auditor general report equal parliament na mo be kai asikai matena mi do adi kai amehu se eye nipa bi nu wa ban wo mu a omo ni o ma mpenye akufu adon ne ba wo mi awa pam ena sai sikai akwa ko di omo asa na asem wo beto abonten kura no no wa ka chere se sika ni bi ye de ama african legal associates a eye o ma mpenye akufu adon ne ma mi nu aba gabi ochre da ko ne lo fe ni ya disika ni biso ama ken kuntu kuku oforiata former finance minister ono so akufu adu ma minu aba ni company ay from data bank so mo ya transaction advices abra sa company si nyina no omu ni contract papa bia edi mu wombrem na che se na nyina so papa bia ni wa e wo hwa e wo senka ye gina so e de aban sika titiri die sa e de ma wo ene omo nkire e de omo de san sika nyina ya omo zo omo ditu a consultancy fees omo zo omo de rent it dan e bu for 153 million cedis ya de rent it dan ya de han dan omo di sika no asa ene kwa omo chi sika no e de ama wo mo na ye de ya asem wa ye ka ne se enne se wo hwe ebra ye wom ahokira ye wom konana ye wom nipa ebra wo ma yi mu emu nurses emu a doctor fo emu a teacher fo emu semtwo fo emu asofo enkoda emabunu ene de keka ho a ye bra ye bra ahokira ye kom adwuma ye nya bi nye sika ene ye botom nyina ya de ba ko e ye krono katasehye pro ye ni dwima e koso no because he care what he dey your mind here e me dey here your ahoto ebre ye nyina no o man penye ku fo do no busua fo ka kra bi ba wo mi ani na busua fo ka kra bi agi sika na kentan so enu ti ni ebre no because he care o man fey 153 million cedis enye sika ketwa abusua fo o ppp a ha do nu nyen sa na yekire se u fa sa sika we na wo se kidney patients ai wo gan na nyina ai na omu ntumi ntua dialysis fees e wo kolebu wo di tua omu nyina fees amo wo betimi de tua omu nyina fees bo afe wo bi de be free kidney treatment for gan na fo wo sa yade ni nyina enne en kodan ketin keti a enche kwa ni enya vaccines en ma wo mo se yade be bo omu ho ba ye free intention ni childhood diseases en kwa nkra mo fra yare no ebe ti nya to sa mi edu ni na ba bebri aka sa sikai ye mo fra wo suku nu a ene wege he mpo ye se nkura de da form because empeni ho basic schools in quantity ni ase 5 years ni basic schools ye mfa ye the new curriculum aba e so ye nya sikan to textbooks e ma nkoda e be den ye mo fra aba ba be empeni pa ene ye si adwuma ni ho ti nap ko fuo ye de omo ka 9 months ye ntimi ntua omo ti fie be si ne sikai ke beti mi de bi adwuma mo manya bi aye national service fo o ma ye adwuma be ta bo so me nan e ko bo so me num ni ye ntua o mo ka o ma la wa ka kra bi na ye be say less than 
thousand cities in Pu. Yen Yasika Ebutia. Teacher Cheney allowances, Yen Chia. Nesting Cheney allowances, Omoka Zumbutia, Yen Chia. Oka Bibia binds his again. Enna, Nipa, Etimu Shiro Munkwa, because, sir, ya tuko lebu wena unit mu ya siya bain di kolebuka 4 million a bain ti bintu ya but we can waste 153 million on corruption bone ben ya diya ya kufu wado neba wumia bone ben ya diya yomo se gana e ya kufu wado onuwa neja padia gana ya ba wumia nka se ya padia nka ube fa 153 million cities we diya se eno kwa yibisa wa wase wudi ya haindain wudi ya tuya consultancy fees for a dear why ya a swam man for swam a gana phobia. Sir corruption scandal will be see gana bakosa muda. Naminum or Maya, a wing yasia, will be between yas adi we are funny wedi. Nene, the air can say, the Omayano, or Mama Gana, she see catitinity. A chrono cassia way a chain am robbery. Chrono cassia and nobody abo mino. Nasikano mafano, a any pound crown of mafa. Because Sikan ki ebe tumidi yesi hospitals Edi yesi sani paya liyano Uya Uche ngudi nikula Sikan ki ebe tumidi ayo omani Uya Uche amroba And uti ye diye Diye ye jina haa ye kane se This is a case of Wolfly causing financial loss to the state Na nyadi ya Ombe fa omu huwedi Ye uwa Yadi ye nina Mpuntu nyume uwa His Excellency John Dramani Mahama se Ye mo gana fwa mani eno ubiante Titu alaji ba wumia Se insha ala oba Na okitana ketu ya debre Ubiya Sikano mafano yebe ye mshishimu Bebi ya shedi ya Yebe jedi ama omayeno They will not get away with One peswa of this money Mark my words We will retrieve the monies Nia diya ya 24 hour economy Yebe retrieve Sikano Nia diya ya national apprenticeship program I'm a Ghana for who pays on Numa, or more who pay Numa, any BIA. That is what the NDC stands for. It's a vision for Yadamas Samaba. Now, the AK Cat one is a Yu Ramaham and Kwan, which me a Casa say you. Because on no or see our yo. And a Katasa said a prayer so dear. And me Yu Ramaham and Nichakedia. Mwamunim or Waku Yasu. None a second, a second for me, Treble Kum Chenifa. And Randy Dua, a Jew, on Casa and the party in Inti, were clear. On one year corruption clearing agents. Into one mamma clear will be a. They said they are not here, Kunyaswa. Corruption sound as a CAB or Shaman Jemukoso. May I just say, he came in Ama or Mino. May I be a Sutra, my Pama or Moa? No, no, this answer, no, no, no. This time around, he will not shield anybody. Na more money in Zero Panadia. Jack Toon to New Yakatuano. And yeah, they are not able to be a cabby be say because on a catastrophe prayer no, the nice thing, the sad thing, the new thing, the full thing, and the two sided is him. I like it, but we must end the game. On a woman playing your good one, a catastrophe prayer be an eye, the man of money, what is my ministers? No, it's all no one to win because of the fight of corruption because we are very corrupt. Mwangaza muni PBS. Eti kumwa na ba wumi yako fa afraka da mfubi Mwa mwode fake documents Ebe ji isi ji boso Jeje ye light bills mkwa 1.5 billion Sidis Besi nne Omde light bills nebya ni yemeka akana fonsa Alaji ba wumi yanti binye wonshe ye The same ba wumi ya mwbe kaye Anasa yuimi ya wanasa kwa ye galamse ya kono mirimu Ye che Minister of State chasa dubwa ye Se oka se ba wumia diye o probi oje bribe o presidency ya class captain ne bribe no so oni ni cedis oje ne dollars two hundred thousand dollars appearance fee eno na amasi di nukra ni ni yangu deno obisha vo another document here kwa yeye ya by the same anas au mampeni yangu vo adu o position oka aswa deni principal ba kuwe tia katasha chini poye ni asanswa chini ba wumia ah ni ante chise Ono zo ba wumia diye ope braibo pa. De sen ba wumia. Ene ni divu fo e ya rice master. E san se. Business man diya. Odene mo aba omaigane mo. 
10 containers of lily rice. A report. Yes, say, well, mommy, here, this is the days. And it was starting here, one cat, as a mock with your good duty, a quaje, no more. Uncle Correa, who rubber with your office, a trail letter, Bazamono, or my brainy, I bet you chamber with me here, or the quack or yet, a trivia donation, Ramadan donation. A big of all, who's through Allah. Cronwadia, yet they are doing for Ramadan. Haram can see a say of Javo. Yes, so on the moon, so number will be any more in a letter. No, I brand you on the office, Kekosa on the tray, the director of administration. As a man, you can look at the wow, do which you be a Google. Do you know, can say special prosecutor in a court? All prosecutors are brand you do not send the day. I brand you to your Christian, the Christian news today, or the Ramadan more day. It is then about when we have a case of Christo Nina and Anna in Yamono. Abraham Reno, the Edi Ramadan. Now, I was a woman ten years, said Abrantian and Castan and Eriane Moa. Say Christo Nio, Yamua, Cochama, Ramadan Foy. I didn't know till date, but when we are our woman in Wasse, or that's only who are near Juma on the office in Pribria, I can say. I didn't hear. Benny Vosse, opinion to a few months if one for. And open your train for your mamma of Ravin and Gan, you bun and carry for or come on. The entire own to me can change that branch and say, When you say, Oh, yeah, a branch and a better to. Because we are not saying you bun and carry for no come okay, or no one can't have a summa and a song coin walk away. So, this is a man who cannot fight corruption because he is himself corrupt. John Mahama is incorruptible. John Mahama is incorruptible. And you see, and I wear the MP, wear the deputy minister. But the minister, but the man penny a bedia che, but the man penny a baba your former president, a confirm what you need, and some way a cartoon is soon in a and one dance here about who cranny were abba. Baku cranny when people were to be doing one dance here abba. Your friend Yoko da, your friend the police station da, your friend no Bakuno Gradesay, your friend the baby ada, and your friend uncle caught him because new soul sabro be. Or the sum of many ye, a be ye in your mapa are a ne, I am son of all. I'm two men in a baby this one first. This is the man we are talking about, and this is the man who is promising. So, a bar, Sassy Catitri D, one point five trillion old cities. Sika, as you say, we articulate as well. Even in two hundred Ghana cities, no, you just have a good articulate a bare hundred. A Sika Titri D bar. Is si ka sombo na eya areho se ya ye mpenyufo aya to aba ma wono omo even in 200 Ghana cedis news ya jose babu ati kwita be 100 eh si ka titiri die pa eh si ka sombo na eya areho se ya ye mpenyufo aya to aba ma wono omo even in 200 Ghana cedis news ya jose babu ati kwita be 100 a Sikap Titri Giba, a Sikai Central for Munamukebi Wum, Munamukebi Agana for Betty. MP before we say, Omobo Crono, only a Kaka Kakra, Ibijai. Central for Muso Budaba Kodam Yumu, Ibijai. I wish I for Yen to be Yen, sir. Yen to be any business as usual. We cannot allow these crooks to get away with all these serious crimes. This is the time to take a stand for Ghana. It is not about being an NBC person. Let's use our platforms to sustain pressure on them and to make sure that these guys are booted out of office. Now, since I'm back, I can train the baby. I'm a baby. You see, Kashi Diano, you are quite good. Eddie Abeyo, my niye. We are missing you, Nana Samaba. So I can see from your faces that you don't have any questions for me, right? Yes. Thank you very much that you are, you don't have any questions for us. Uh, while the music is going on. But even before we, we play the music interlude, I have a very important announcement for you. Please listen to me very carefully. There is, if you're streaming live for the press conference, you can cut us off now. But you can see that today, there are a lot of people. <laughs> Jumayi, 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 Jumay